All right, today I'm gonna talk about an important secret in the poultry industry. Our topic today is about super pre-starter diet in poultry nutrition. So when we are talking about super pre-starter diet, it comes down to the importance of early nutrition. As you know, the first few days of a chicken life is really crucial. Why? Because the digestive system, the immune system, is developing and, you know, we need to help the birds to get to that point to be independent and can absorb, you know, digest and absorb nutrients efficiently. So the goal of using a strong and, you know, nutritious diet, like super pre-starter diet, is to really help the chick to improve its efficiency in digestion and absorption of the nutrients to improve gut health to improve immunity and as you know when we are talking about broilers thanks to the genetic progress they have been really feed efficient and fast growing and they can reach the market weight at about 35 days of age. So now, just do a little bit math and calculate the portion of the first week in that lifetime. It would be around 20%. It means that over the first 20% of the life, your digestive system is immature, is inefficient. So, they need help through nutritional management to improve their efficiency, growth, and at the end of the day, we will get more profit by reducing the feed conversion ratio, by increasing the growth rate, and of course, by decreasing the mortality rate. So, what's the purpose of super pre-starter diets? Actually, it is a transition between embryonic nutrition to the first diet, which is starter diet, right? So when we are feeding super pre-starter diet, we are making a smooth bridge between embryonic nutrition inside the egg and starter diet in the real life. The question is, how long should I feed super pre-starter diet? A simple answer is for the first three to seven days of age. As you can see, here we have a range, three to seven days of age, right? So here, actually, Parent stock age, it means that broiler breeder age, can affect the duration of feeding pre-starter diet to their progeny, to their offspring, I mean to the broiler chickens. How? It's really interesting topic. If you have a look at the literature, for example, Hudson et al. Um, 
in 2004, they published an article in the Journal of Applied Poultry Research, and they investigated the maternal age effect on the physiological parameters of the offspring, or broiler chickens. They found that if the broiler chickens are from younger mothers, I mean around less than 30 weeks of age, they had lower relative yolk sac weight and also lower heart rate, heart weight. It means that they are prone to get metabolic disorders in the older days, older ages, like after 25 days of age. For example, they can get ascites very easily. Why? Because their cardiovascular system is not really ready, is not really developed to handle that growth rate. That's why to prevent this kind of metabolic disorder like ascites, we really need to slow down their growth rate around 5 to, 70, 5 to 14 days of age during that window. So, now here we are talking about, you know, some contradictory factors. On one hand, I am telling you, you need to feed your, you know, chickens, young chickens with super pre-starter diet, which is a nutritious diet, a strong diet. On the other hand, I am telling you, if you do not slow down their, you know, growth rate from 5 to 14 days of age, they are prone to get ascites. So, what should I do? Should I ignore, you know, having a robust early nutrition? No. Of course not. Because early nutrition is not only about having, you know, high growth rate. Is not only about having high final body weight. The main purpose of a proper early nutrition is to have a healthier bird, healthier gut, improved immunity, lower mortality rate. So, we need to feed them with super pre-starter diet. But, if your birds are from a young mother, from young flock, let's say less than 40 weeks of age. In that case, you need to limit the duration of feeding super pre-starter diet. You need to feed your chicks with this diet only for three to five days of age, for the first three to five days. But if your chicks are from older flocks, let's say with a maternal flock whose age is, you know, older than 40 weeks of age, yes, in that case, you can feed your chickens, your broiler chickens, for the first five to seven days of age. It means that the duration of feeding 
سوپر پر استارتر دایت فور برویلرز فرام اولدر فلاک ایز لانگر بیکاز دیر اینیشل بادی ویت ایز های دیر اینیشل هارت ویت کاردیو واسکولار سیستم ایز های and they can take they are ready to take that you know metabolic challenges that you are going to you know implement through a strong diet like super pre starter diet so the other thing is in what form should i feed the super pre-starter diet as you know we have three feed forms mash plate and crumble the best form is crumble for young chicks because you have processed your feed you know the starch in your grains are already heated with moisture that starch has been gelatinized and it's ready to be digested easily and absorb so crumble is the best form of a pre-starter diet however If you are a farmer who has on the farm feed meal and you do not have access to plate machine, extruder, in that case, that's okay. You need to feed your young chicks with a mash diet as long as You are taking other aspects of early nutrition into consideration. And I will talk about that in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please do not forget to like this video. By that, more people will have chance to You know, watch these kinds of videos and learn about a proper nutritional management in the poultry farms. And also, if you have any questions, please let me know down there in the comments. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.